Hey everyone, we've finally got our hands on the Shoei GTA 2, so of course, we're going to review it. So this is the Shoei GTA 2, it's a much anticipated helmet that we first saw unveiled at Intermot 2018 uh, Shoei's booth, and since then I've really been waiting to get my hands on this helmet. So it's going to be a full face sports touring uh, premium helmet as well. It's going to have great versatility. It's going to do a lot of different things, which makes it a big all-rounder. And seeing it's a premium helmet, it's going to come in at 600 US dollars at the recommended retail price. Uh, for a basic design, a uh, graphic like this will cost a little bit more. Now, this helmet, the GTA 2, as the name suggests, is going to be like the upgraded version of the original GTA. And the original GTA was really well received by riders, which is why we're so excited to finally see the GTA 2. So this review is only going to focus upon this helmet as an individual helmet. And if you want to see more designs or you want to see comparisons or stuff like that, be sure to check out our YouTube channel and subscribe and that way you can stay up to date with all the newest GTA 2 info. So first of all, the shell. So the shell is going to be made out of a multiply matrix aim material. And this is going to be uh, multiple layers of different materials. So it's going to be layers of uh, organic fiber, then it's going to be fiberglass and resins and stuff like that. So it's going to be built up. And this helps to make a strong and lightweight shell overall, which is uh, pretty important on a premium uh, level helmet. Now, this one hasn't been yet rated by Sharp uh, for the safety rating, but the original GTA was, and it scored a disappointingly low 3 out of 5 stars. So I'm really hoping that the GTA 2 will be much better in that regard, though we do have to wait for that result. Uh, in the meantime, it is ECE and DOT rated though. So the GTA 2 is going to be available in uh, three different shell sizes. And we weighed this one right here in front of us, which is a size M. And it actually came in at 1.45 kilograms, which is quite a respectable uh, result for a touring helmet. You know, it's got internal sun visor and stuff like that. So I was pretty happy with that result. So now if we go down to the chin, you'll be able to see the first piece of ventilation that we're going to look at. This is a in the, uh, yeah, this is gin vent. Pretty standard stuff. It's been improved, it's been made bigger, uh, so it's going to let more air in. It's going to let air directly onto the uh, visor via fence here, which you can maybe see. So it's nice, pretty easy to use as well. Very big, which is what you want when you're riding. Uh, then up top here, we're going to have this big top scoop, openable and closable, one of three positions. Also pretty standard, it's also been made a bit bigger as well, so it's going to let more air in. Then at the back, we now have always open exhausts, uh, two here. And there are technically five, but these are, I think, the two that really matter the most. And they're the most obvious. So I guess we're onto the visor now, and there's a couple of new features with the visor, but uh, we'll start with the more everyday kind of thing. It's going to be anti-fog pinlock lens prepared. It's in the box, nice and cool. There you can just slap it on, start riding, mist free straight away. And it's also going to be Shoei CNS-1 visor, which is the same visor we saw with the original GTA. Now, because it is a Shoei helmet, it's going to be a little bit difficult to take the visor off. That's because it's how it's designed. It's meant to like, uh, it's going to like seal very well into the shell. And for that reason, it's a little bit difficult to take the visor off. It's like spring loaded as well, which is where it gets that power from. So you see the spring in here. So to take it off, we're going to pull down on this little thing here. And we're going to lift it up, kind of like unseat it and pull it off. It can take a little bit of force, but try and like lift it and pull it in this direction because you want to pull that spring and give yourself some extra room. Let's put it back on. It's the exact opposite. Uh, first, we're going to seat this section here. And in the same kind of motion, we're going to put it on. So that's seated. Then pull it across, seats everything. It's on and it closes. There you go. Uh, so yeah, it can take a little bit of practice. Now, they do have a new cracked position for the visor. So you can see here, it's pretty useful for a uh, sports touring helmet. It's going to be very nice when you're just cruising around town. And yeah, that's one of the major improvements they've made with the visor. So of course, we do have the integrated sun visor. They haven't gotten rid of it. And you can see me control it here. Just drop it down with a nice easy slider. Easy to use with gloves on as well. So, pretty handy feature there. And what's cool about the sun visor is that it's going to be a full 5 millimeters lower. So let me just open that up. 
So you might not be able to notice it initially, but a lot of people did ask for this, and it's good to see that they actually delivered. And yeah, overall, it's quite nice. So uh, what else with the sun visor? It's going to be integrated into the shell, like I said. It's not going to actually uh, reduce EPS, which some companies do. They uh, kind of like cut sections out so the visor will retract in. But uh, with sure you can see here, it's like a little bit more raised up here, and that could be a result of them keeping the sun visor um, and the EPS intact. So that's not a bad thing, I quite like it. And the overall design of this helmet is going to be a bit sleeker and more aerodynamic. So now we're at that point where we're going to take the liner out and see how it all works underneath. So get my donut here and lift the helmet up. The liner is going to be Shui's, uh, it's going to be their 3D uh, Max Dry liner. And I've already made fun of the 3D name before. We're not going to go back and make the same joke. But uh, yeah, so it's going to reduce, or it's going to like dry two times as quick or something like that. It's a fairly decent liner. It's pretty comfortable. Premium helmet, premium brand. So it's what we would expect here. And I'm very happy because this liner is really easy to take off. You also have the emergency quick release. So you can just pull on these and rip everything off. But I'm not going to do that because I prefer to save it for an emergency myself. But here we go. So. You can actually see here on this tab for like the pin where they have uh, given you like a little bit of like an angle. So you can kind of push it in there, lock it in, and then put the rest in. Great feature. I love that. It makes it so much easier to put this back in. And now I'm going to put the sun visor up, take off the headliner. There we go. So put this over here. And you can see, I'll show you all these uh, liners, but it's going to be very well finished. There's not really any excess string. There's no loose glue. It's a premium finish, which is what we want to see like this. Nothing at all to complain about. It's great. It's really well finished. And you can get different cheek pads as well, so you can uh, get different sizes and stuff like that as you prefer. But overall, the finish is good. The quality is very high. Like it's, you can almost just reverse both sides of these around. You can't, it's difficult to tell which one is actually the right side. So the quality is very good on the liner. And on the inside, the EPS is also going to be around, yeah, just as good really. So you can see the channels. There's plenty of channels for the uh, ventilation. It's not super deep, but it's going to still breathe pretty well. Uh, and then we also do have, let me just take these out here. You can see like this little little bit of a uh, speaker insert pad thing and so there's the speaker port and you can put a center SRL2 system in there and we'll talk about that a little bit later on but you can also maybe see here like this little cutout which is for a microphone and you can see like there's cable cutouts as well I've also given the GTA 2 our noise test which is our beep test and the purpose of this test is to determine how much noise and how many decibels are blocked by the shell so this is going to be more relevant for your engine noise, your environmental noise, and that kind of thing. And as a touring helmet, we expect the GTA 2 to do quite well. Now the results of the test were a little bit disappointing. We made our control, which came in at a score of 18, and then the GTA 2 came in at 23. So we only blocked about 5 decibels of noise. And the Shui Neotech 2, for comparison, was able to block about 13, and that's a major difference. So we can say that based on our testing, the amount of noise blocked by the GTA 2 was a little bit disappointing. So something that Shui has been really pushing with their more recent helmets is their partnership with Senna. And this is something of a, like a divisive factor in the community because yeah, with the Neotech 2, we saw a bit of backlash against uh, Shui and the, and the Senna kind of partnership because it kind of forces you to an extent to get a Senna system because it's prepared for one and it's not going to be as effective with another system. <clears throat> so the GTA 2 is going to be the same. It's going to take the Senna SRL2 system. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned in the future for when we do a review on that system. But basically you have like uh, cutouts in all over the shelves, my cutout in here, uh, and like these compartments here. And so these are going to specifically fit that communication system. And this can be a good thing because it reduces wind noise and uh, bulkiness and stuff like that and aerodynamics on the helmet. But it can also limit uh, other communication systems. So let me show you how to take these off. I'll do it on this side. 
Uh, you get this tool from Shui, which comes with the helmet, luckily, because it's really difficult to do this with your fingers. And you're just going to wedge it in here, and then you're going to lift it and pry it off. So let me just do that. So in, pry it off, and kind of like push it out. It is quite easy to come uh, to take off. Just make sure you have your little tool with you. It says Shui on it. And you can see this is the compartment. So you're going to uh, this is where you're going to slide on your Center SRL2 system. And the problem is, uh, well, problem that people find is that typically on these areas is where you would mount your other comm system. So you have to like mount it around. So you have to do it more forward, higher up. It is a bit more of a hassle, but you can still get other third-party systems on there. But if you want to get the Senna SRL2, uh, it is going to be the best option on this helmet. We've covered just about everything on the GTS, so I guess we can kind of round out the last couple things. Uh, we do not have a double D uh, system. We have instead a micro ratchet made out of stainless steel. A lot of people prefer the double D system. Uh, a vocal group actually prefer the double D system, but sadly, stainless steel micro ratchet. And it is a Shui product, and it's made out of steel. It is tough. It feels, it does feel pretty strong, and it's I think it's pretty comfortable. Overall, it's a good system, and I trust that Shui knows how to make a decent micro ratchet. But yeah, if you wanted a double D ring, you're not going to get it on the GTA 2. Then uh, the last thing really is that it's been made, uh, sorry, the EPS has been made out of multiple layers and multiple densities, which is good because it's going to help you to absorb a larger uh, range of impacts, which is something which is great for your safety overall. If you look at the GTA on our website, championhelmets.com, you can scroll down and find the product bundle section. And with this helmet, you'll be able to get the Senna SRL2 system for a pretty decent discount or you can get a free dark smoke visor worth $60. So make sure to check those out. So this has been our review for Shui's GTA 2. I hope you guys found it useful and you should check out our YouTube channel and subscribe. That way you can stay up to date with all things motorcycle gear related. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all next time.